Well, let's start because we we need to just start. All right. So today's topic is uh, resilient women. All right. And the way this topic came up is um, best couple period. We hey. appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it came up because a young lady said that she had a situation where she basically wanted help. She's she she's pregnant. She wanted her husband to help her do something, right? Put I think put a, a stroller together. She might have wanted him to put it together on a Monday. He was like, I get to it. Baby not here yet. I guess he probably figured, look, I got tired of it, but she wanted it done. She felt like he didn't respond at the point at the right time, I guess. So she went ahead and put it together herself. Got her kids to help her bring it downstairs just to show that I did it. Like, you need to step up. So the resilient woman thing comes in because he got so accustomed to her just always doing. Mm. Right, so it didn't seem like it was an urgent thing because, again, she's always doing. Um, I don't know the whole ordeal, but I thought it'd be a good topic because you have some women that are, you know, I'm a strong woman, I, you know, hit me raw, and they take on so much, and it's almost to the point where, as a man, feel like, oh, okay, since so you're gonna do all of that, then I'm just gonna lay back, but then it turns around to become. Oh, he lazy or he this, that, and the other. But he's feeding off the energy that he's receiving. Mm. I just want to get this one example. I was in a store one time, and this young this young lady came in. So it was, it was an auto parts store. So, you know, men was saying, nice looking lady. Everybody just know, how you doing? You know, speaking. Ignored everyone came in. When she got up to the desk, she had rotors, right? So you put them on the counter. Everybody, you know, she got rang up or whatever. So she looked around and was like, wow, I guess Shivery is dead because no one would help her with the rotors. Where everyone else was like, hold on, you just walked in here, couldn't even speak. But now Shivery is dead because no one would help her carry these heavy rotors out. So just my thing, we got to, some women have to be careful of, I'm a strong woman, hit me raw. Because mm -hmm. that's what happened. You will be ruined. You know what I'm saying? And Alone. we're just sitting back. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you gotta um you gotta allow a man to be a man and um put him in position to do stuff. One of my um one of my other go tos is from um, Good Times. Uh, James always came home one of the cold beer. The refrigerator was out. It was out for a while. Florida kept asking him, "When are you gonna get this fixed? When are you gonna take care of it? When are you gonna take care of it?" So she let it go. She didn't argue with him. She didn't fight with him. He came home, regular routine. She went to the refrigerator, got him his beer. He opened the beer. Oh, my God, you gave me a hot beer. Babe, you remember the refrigerator was out? So sometimes they don't have to argue, fight, whatever case may be. Sometimes we do get locks of days of cool, some men. So that's, that's just an example of how you can um, get what you ladies, get what you need or get what you want without, without even fight, without even raising your voice. If I came home and the stove, you know, not working, whatever the case is, but I know I'm going to be hungry and when I come in the house and she giving me, I don't know, some microwavable food. I'm like, babe, you know, eat like this. You're going to be like, oh, babe, remember, the stove been out for three weeks. So basically, that's anything. a way of a woman not nagging about, I ask you to do this, I ask you to do that, I ask you to do, 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 and taking care of it on their own. They just kind of letting it go. But some women, now I'm going to play devil's advocate What's here. What's up, Tony? Go back. You got some women that um can't wait that long for stuff to get done. So what do they do when they have a honey-do list and it's not getting done and then they end up doing it themselves and instead of kind of throw hints by leaving stuff, they get annoyed by it and just do it anyway. What do you do in that situation? All right. We do, we want some feedback. Now, on this case, as a matter of fact, I have a little example for us with us tonight. So, for instance, yeah, the, the trash, right? Uh -huh. That's me. That's that's on me. She came in. She said, Dag, babe, trash run it over. That's on me. So, if I came in a house and it's stinking in here because of trash, Yes, I know some people are like, well, she says things she could take it out too, but if and I take... And I do. Right, if I, but if I take on that responsibility, right, that's my responsibility. Yeah, she could take it out. But then I'm like, babe, why you take the trash out? You know what I'm saying? Because 
for me in my pride, whatever case, I don't want my woman taking trash out, whatever. That's I feel like that's my now she could take it out of the trash can, put it by the door, so I know to take it out, whatever case it be. But but if it's stinking, it got to go. It's got to go. <laughs> for example, we had, I had crabs last night, I, and usually I would just, as soon as we finish eating seafood, I take I definitely take seafood out. Last night I was super tired because I had an event and all this stuff, so I was just tired. And I actually forgot and left the freaking crab. Luckily, it didn't stink it up. When I seen it this morning, I was like, oh, wow. She didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Now, she knew I was tired, too. So maybe she just, you know, gave me a bone with her cases. But in hindsight, responsibilities I take on. So, um, again, no argue, no, dang, you ain't take the trash. Oh, babe, trash runneth over or whatever. I know that's my responsibility. I said, but I didn't say anything. I just say, babe, all right, go ahead and take it out, from my, take it out of the trash can itself. So I can take mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. It's called teamwork. That's all. That's all. Everything don't have, don't have to be a fight, argue, and some. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. So, so what y'all think? Give you some feedback. You know how do y'all guys handle? Well, for men, how do you handle if you have a resilient? I guess that's the word. The rest of the word was used for this example. A resilient woman. How do you handle those things? And women. If you have a man that's constantly not doing and you're the one always doing, what do you do? Do you just keep doing and deal with it? Do you leave, get somebody that does, or do you just let it go? Right. Because, fellas, we be mad, come home and uh, <laughs> mock the neighbor. <laughs> With a six pack and white beater taking out your trash. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You got a better name than Mark. Hey. Like Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor Mark, Joe. So. So we want your feedback. Um, this is just a conversation that we decided to have out of com com conversation mm -hmm. with others. Um, and how you all feel about that. How you would handle that. Um, if you're not in a relationship. If you're single. You know, how are you going to go into the relationship, uh, fellas? Do you right. think you should do... I mean, I've dated guys that don't... They don't adhere to no honey-do list. You can have a honey-do list all you want to. They're going to say, honey, do it yourself. So, I mean, what, what what do you guys think, you know? be honest, I never heard of honey. She's the first person I ever heard of honey-do list. I've wow. never heard of a honey-do list. When she meant the other day, I thought she meant fruit. <laughs> she said, honey-do list. I was like... You listen to fruit now? You always hungry. That's but then we went to <laughs> then I went to work and um it's not a racist thing what I'm about to say, but it's a you know, white gentleman said, Yeah, I had a I finished my honey do list for this work and kinda threw me. I was like, Why wow, I just heard of that uh -huh. last night? He was like, Yeah, my wife always got a honey do list for me. I was like, Yo, I didn't even know that existed. So first time I ever heard of it. But he does crazy. now, guys. He knows now. <laughs> It exists. It's a working process. All the stuff is progress. taken care of that was on the honey do list so far. So I tried my best, y'all. I tried my best, I'll tell you. So feedback. Feedback or no. Because right. <laughs> that's the end of that conversation. You guys can give us y'all thoughts. Just wanna know what y'all um, think about it. And if you guys have any topics you think you would like us to bring up for conversation, always DM us or whatever the case may be. Um, again, it's just it's something we, we throwing out, we trying to, um, <clears throat> again, just, just, just link up, man. Just, let's talk about it. And as we say at the end of every single one of our conversations, if you are a couple and you want to fellowship with us, please let us know. We will be happy to link up with like-minded couples and have conversations and, you know, True. eat. We yeah. like to eat. <laughs> so. But, um, yeah, so definitely let us know. Um, I don't know if it's a delay or anything um, with the thing, but because I don't see like their pictures not showing up, that's one thing. It might be a delay or something. Uh oh, my bad, y'all. Stop pressing buttons. Right, right. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so without getting any feedback at this point in time, we missed something. If something's going on with our feed or something. You know, you guys can let us know. Well, we're going to cut short. We're not going to sit on here looking crazy, staring at this <laughs> phone. You know, questions. Y'all need to uh, chime in, man. So, DM us if we're missing something. All right, later, y'all. <laughs>